Welcome to Simply Cooking. I'm your host, Stacey Simfukwe, and today you're joining me on a great day. We are gonna make a simple and quick stir fry vegetable. Now, this is gonna be very, very easy. You can have this over white rice. We already prepared our white rice over here. And what we need to do is make sure that we have a very, very hot pan. So we're gonna heat up our pan right now. Let's get it nice and hot. And, um, let me show you some of the ingredients we're gonna be working with today. Now stir fry, you can make it any way you want with any ve uh, vegetables that you want, but my base vegetables are always broccoli, carrots, and I have some sugar snap peas that I absolutely adore. Um, those are my three main ingredients. You can mix it and match it. Some people like to add mushrooms. Some people like to add um, uh, lots and lots of onions and garlic. Um, you can add whatever you want, whatever feels good to you. Add that in your dish. It is whatever you want. So we're getting the pan nice and hot. Before I want to make sure it's really, really hot before I add my oil. Now when you add your oil, make sure you add a high temperature oil. That means canola oil, um, coconut oil is a good option if you want to be healthier because coconut oil has a natural fat burner in it. So we're going to add this hot oil. The main important thing about stir fry is making sure your pan is very, very hot, okay? So we're gonna put the broccoli in first because the broccoli cooks the longest. You hear that sizzle? That means I got the right temperature. We're gonna move this around just a little bit. Coat it with the oil. Another great thing that makes stir fry extra fast is you can go to the grocery store and they'll have pre-prepped vegetables for you, so you don't even have to prep the vegetables, which really cuts time. Um, I prep the, this broccoli myself. We're adding carrots now. I prep these broccoli myself, and what I like to do is I like to chop my broccoli, and then after I chop my broccoli, um, I wash my broccoli, because then, you know, broccolis have the really heavy crown, and you can't tell if you cleaned it properly, but when you cut it and then clean it, then you know you got it done right. So we're gonna to toss this around. I'm being very thoughtful about how I'm doing this because I want my very hot pan. And the next thing we're gonna put in, you can kind of smell it. There is, when you go to the grocery store, there is the, um, the frozen stir fry vegetables. I like to stay away from that because I like my vegetables to have a little bit of a bite. So we're gonna stir this down and then really quickly in this bowl, we're gonna add soy sauce. Now this is a sweet soy sauce. If it wasn't sweet, I would add sugar. We're gonna add a tablespoon of garlic. Let me move this around so it doesn't burn. I like a little char, but not too much. Turn this temperature down. And I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, maybe a, another pinch, because I like it peppery and we're gonna add some garlic powder with our garlic, uh, with our minced garlic, because we wanna make it really garlicky. I'm a garlic girl. You guys like garlic at home? I hope so, garlic is good for you. We're gonna pour this right on top of our stir fry vegetables. You hear that? Hear that sizzle, y'all? I love it. There it is. And this is gonna add all this delicious flavor to our stir fry vegetables. It's so good to do it when it's nice and hot because it kind of opens the pores of the vegetables and the vegetables soak in all the flavors of the soy sauce garlic um, mixture, the sauce. So we're gonna let that go. And while that's simmering just a touch, we're gonna come over here 
we're gonna chop up our green onions. Now you could do this before, we're gonna do it right now. And the main thing that we're trying to do is basically garnish our vegetables. Another thing to remember is to make sure that you sharpen your knives really well because a dull knife makes a dull chef. So make sure you sharpen your knives. A lot of times we'll throw away knives because we think the knives are bad. They're not bad. Invest in a good knife uh, sharpener um, and a good knife sharpener will go a long way. I actually recently just sharpened these knives and let me tell you, it makes a difference. How you know your knives are dull, try chopping um, a tomato and when you chop a tomato, if it like makes the potato, the uh, tomato mushy, then you need a new knife or you need to sharpen your knives. Okay, I'm toss that over here. And now right on top, I'm gonna take these beautiful, vibrant green onions or scallions, whatever feels good to you. Just gonna sprinkle it right on top. I'm gonna turn this heat off. Turn this heat off. We're gonna toss this around just a little bit. Look at that, delicious. Very, very quick. You saw how quick that was. If you want a thicker sauce, you can add about a tablespoon or a teaspoon of cornstarch and it'll thicken this right on up. Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna pour it right here in our ready dish. Here we go. I like to cook my vegetables until they're a little tender, not too much. And look at that, stir fry vegetables. Look at that, it's delicious. Now, if you like this recipe, then I think you should go check us out on Instagram at Faith State Bronco TV, and I will have the recipe there for you. Also, if you want to see what we're gonna, we're gonna do next, we're actually gonna have a delicious dessert because this is heavy, so let's go with something really light and delicious. So stay tuned for our dessert. I'm Stacy with Simply Cooking. Thank you.